PhD in 2000 in laser spectroscopy and the experiment were done at Technical University, Munich, Germany. He is interested in the application of laser induced plasma spectroscopy and ultra-force laser, laser in the environmental pollution detection and laser cancer treatment with international project in this, in this field. In October 2021, 2022 and 2023, he was chosen as one of the world's first 2% scientists in the field of photonics according to the survey given by the Stanford, Stanford University, USC. He is a senior photonic, sorry, he is a senior member of IEEE, OSA, APS and SIPE, SPIE. He has collaborated with his different international groups at Georgia Tech. For uh, this uh, nice uh, introduction about me, uh, uh, maybe fifth time, I have uh, been uh, invited speaker for this uh, international IEEE Nano conference um, for uh, this is the fifth year for me. I am happy to join your uh, uh, conference beca because it's my uh, opportunity to present my achievement in this field. Today <coughs> Uh, I'm going to introduce a, a new breakthrough in the field of cancer treatment. Uh, before I start over, uh, let me uh, give a hint about cancer. Cancer is not a usual disease. It is not a kind of infection of, or bacteria so that we can uh, identify or um, um, make a treatment of uh, the, for this kind of bacteria or, or microbe, uh, but it is kind uh, of disease which came to the DNA of the human, uh, uh, cause uh, unusual performance of the uh, uh, body cells. Uh, today we uh, emphasize introducing new kind of materials, it is graphene-based nanocomposites. We manipulate uh, this kind of graphene uh, uh, nanocomposites for uh, cancer treatment. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Yes, okay. Sir, yes, sir. okay, please, and we can continue now. Okay. Uh, we, I'm sorry for this technical problem. Uh, we will introduce about uh, cancer uh, and nanotechnology, uh, nanographene, uh, nanoxide, uh, folic acids, uh, uh, cancer treatment, and conclusion. Uh, first of all, as introduced in the beginning, uh, cancer is a, a leading cause of, uh, of death worldwide, and uh, it is uh, its treatment remains significant challenge. Uh, today, we will try to offer a, a new methodology for uh, cancer treatment, uh, other than the chemotherapy treatment. Chemotherapy may cause a lot of side effects uh, because it cannot distinguish between healthy. Uh, cells and cancer cells. Uh, cancer can cause due to chemical uh, problems and uh, or tumors. Uh, we have two types of tumors. We, we have benign tumors, maybe uh, it's kind of uh, uh, unnormal growth of, uh, 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 of cells, but it remains localized. Uh, but we have uh, malignant uh, tumors at which it is uncontrolled uh, growth of uh, uh, cells. Uh, please follow up this video harm our body. This is the division of normal cells in the uh, our body. Uh, this is we can simulation of uh, normal cells, cells growth in our body. You can see it is a control homogeneous uh, division of uh, cells in our body. And now we'll switch all to, to uh, uncontrolled uh, growth of the cells in our body. 
which we call it cancer. You can see how uh, the, these cells uh, grow out uh, uh, the site at which the, the cells should be growing. It is uncontrolled and uh, we will go to, to see how much uh, going on in just a few days. In one day, uh, maybe it, the cells will divide to two, three, four, eight, but to the right side, you can see the divisions uh, go to 130, one, 280 in the fourth days, maybe f 600 in the fifth day, and going on to the 1,500 uh, just in, f in five days. We so that treatment of these kind of cells urgent is urgent to be take uh, an action uh, w uh, whenever we discover it is cancer. Uh, so that we de defined uh, the the problem is the cancer nanomaterials is a very tiny ma ma materials at which the size of the materials go to nanometer scales uh, graphene oxide. Uh, is uh, generated by uh, developing a carbon, very tiny molecules uh, called graphene. Uh, it is one, uh, two dimension, one layer uh, carbon uh, of size uh, about uh, 50 nanometers or, or less than 100 nanometers in thickness and it's just one or two layers, uh, not more than this. Uh, graphene oxide is composed of uh, carbon and hydrogen and uh, oxygen, uh, a, few, a few atoms of uh, oxygen as well. Uh, this is a chemical formula of the graphene oxide, uh, as usual we can find in labs. Uh, why we say this um, kind of uh, uh, treatment is biocompatible? Uh, we uh, inject the uh, nanomaterials inside the tumor itself. Uh, first of all, this kind of experiments uh, uh, is going to be done uh, on uh, the cancer cells itself. But in case we uh, go going to be uh, in vivo um, uh, treatment, we will go to inject these kind of molecules uh, or uh, uh, nanocomposites inside the tumor itself. Uh, biocompatible because it is uh, non-harm uh, to our body like uh, organs like lung, liver, or uh, spleen or or uh, any uh, renal pathways uh, or heart uh, organs uh, therapeutics effects uh, what is the benefits of this uh, uh, treatment we are uh, targeting uh, ligands uh, and therapeutic agents we can image the and probing the uh, targeted uh, tumors as well. To do so and to target a specific kind of uh, uh, cells, we uh, conjugated uh, folic acids to the graphene oxides uh, to make a, con uh, uh, a connection between our uh, molecules and the targeted uh, mo uh, uh, cells because we found folic acid, of course, it is uh, uh, very common uh, in our in body cells, especially in the tumor cells, because uh, a lot of uh, blood flow in the uh, tumor cells at which folic acid will be available and can uh, conjugate it, uh, join uh, our uh, uh, body cells, especially uh, the uh, cancer cells, very common without problem. So that we can make a connection between uh, our uh, nanoparticles and the targeted 
cancer cells using folic acid. So folic acid represent a connection uh, 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 molecule and moreover we go, go to the transitions uh, transition molecules like uh, uh, molybdenum disulfide nano sheets uh, at which we uh, uh, use these kind of uh, 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 materials nanomaterials uh, to absorb the uh, uh, near infrared laser and convert the uh, photo uh, energy to uh, thermal energy to destroy the cancer cells. Uh, the methodology at which we going to uh, do for this uh, generate uh, graphene oxide uh, by Hammer method, then uh, cultivating the folic acid, and finally we cover these kind of composites with uh, molybdenum disulfide molecules. Uh, this is the configuration at which we make the all-over uh, treatment. Uh, we use a, a near-infrared uh, photothermal therapy uh, to convert the um, tumor cells, uh, to destroy the tumor cells. Uh, we have many techniques, uh, the photothermal uh, therapy, uh, this is a photothermal therapy using um, around uh, 700 to 900 nanometer uh, wavelength range. And uh, this uh, 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 light energy is enough to be absorbed and convert to uh, uh, light energy to thermal energy. We can def defend our uh, uh, this kind of tumors uh, using our uh, uh, molecules. Uh, why we get that uh, transition metals? Because it is uh, its absorption and uh, stability for high temperature is very good. Uh, um, the problem we which we have faced uh, that some molecule are uh, we uh, are going to dissociate due to. Uh, temperature uh, because we convert the photo energy to thermal energy uh, we, when you heat up uh, some kind of molecules it can uh, dissociate uh, to its component and the reaction will will, will stop but stability of the transitions metals uh, uh, give us opportunity to maintain this reaction for longer longer time, we can see that the transitions transition metals maybe for uh, irradiation up to maybe five or six uh, minutes it would be stable, and it's a stability uh, of the uh, composite. You can see the the red one, the red one is a uh, more stable. Uh, for high temperature, maybe up to 60, 60 degree uh, Celsius, it, it is stable for more, maybe five minutes with a long time enough to make this kind of treatment. Uh, then we, uh, we uh, for, for uh, uh, generate this kind of special kind of uh, molecules, we make a characterizations. Uh, to guarantee that we uh, uh, targeted a proper characteristics which we need for this treatment. We make XRD, FTIR, uh, UV visible spectroscopy, Raman spectroscopy as well. From XRD we conform the structure of graphene, uh, folic acid, molybdenum, uh, sulfide composites uh, and from Raman as well um, also from uh, UV uh, uh, visible absorption. Uh, uh, and using FTR, it confirms that we don't have kind of impurities uh, as much as uh, we can. What uh, can conclude uh, from this kind uh, of research? 
that we uh, we can combine different uh, 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 molecules like graphene oxide, folic acid, molybdenum sulfide. Each molecule uh, has uh, has its own job. Uh, the folic acid uh, conjugate uh, the and uh, represent connection between the molecule final composites and the cancer cells. Molybdenum sulfide absorb uh, the uh, near infrared and uh, graphene oxide uh, represent a, carry a very good carrier. Uh, the multifunction uh, nanocomposite demonstrate exceptional potential of precise cancer treatment under near infrared. The successful uh, thin size involve optimization of the Haber methods and folic acid functionalization to enhance targeting uh, uh, specific. Uh, molybdenum uh, disulfide integration uh, 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 make a remarkable near, uh, near RR absorptions and uh, photothermal conversions critical uh, for effective uh, therapy. Characterization studies uh, conform the nano hybrid structure integrity and functional uh, functional attributions uh, and it's designed to performance uh, a very good uh, candidate for the treatment uh, this is the references which i have used in this field of treatment i hope this uh, talk is uh, helpful and can be a, a new kind of treatment in our uh, way to defend uh, humanity to, uh, uh, against this kind of disease, which is cancer treatment. Thank you. I finished. We are honored to have Professor Walita Vick with us today to share their valuable insight and expertise in this field. Please join. For a warm thank you, thank you, sir.